ओके द फोर्स इज 20 न्यूटन 30 न्यूटन 40 50 एंड 6 न्यूटन आर एक्टिंग एट एट वन ऑफ द एंगुलर पॉइंट्स ऑफ अवर रेगुलर हेक्सागोन टुवर्ड्स द अदर फाइव एंगुलर पॉइंट्स टेकन इन ऑर्डर फर्स्ट ऑफ फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स ओके सो दीस आर द फाइव फोर्सेस एक्टेड एट अ पॉइंट एट अ सिंगल पॉइंट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिजॉल्व ऑल दीस फोर्सेस resolve all the forces resolve all the forces okay so first of all i will explain how will be resolve okay. so this one it is one inclined force it is acted so this one it is just consider this inclined force it is f okay so it is angle with respect to x axis okay so angle it is with respect to x axis okay so first of all result it is in x direction it is f cos theta f cos theta in y direction it is f sin theta f sin theta okay f cos theta and f sin theta if suppose if it is angle it is with respect to y axis Suppose this one it is angle it is with respect to y axis. Yes. Yeah. So it is F. F. So angle it is theta. It is with respect to y axis. Respect to y axis. Okay. So on y axis it will be take F cos theta. F cos theta. And on x axis it will be take F. Sine theta. Okay, so this one it is method of resolution. Okay, so if it angle with respect to x axis, f cos theta, and in y axis it will be f sine theta. If it is angle with respect to y axis, so in on y axis it will be take f cos theta, and x axis it will be take f sine theta. Okay, so this one it is resolution method. Okay, so now just see our C law. C at C. Okay. So just resolve this one. It is just resolve this one. It is so total angle. It is thirty degree. Okay. So this angle it is total. Just consider this angle it is thirty degree for thirty newton. Okay. So it is angle with respect to x x axis. So it will be take thirty thirty cos thirty on x axis and on y axis it will be thirty sine thirty sine thirty. Thirty sine thirty. Okay, so this one it is resolution for thirty newton. So now resolve for forty kilo newton load. Resolve for forty kilo newton load. Okay, resolve for forty kilo newton load. Okay, for this forty, it is total angle. It is how much? So total angle it is thirty. Thirty plus thirty it is sixty. Sixty degree angle. Total this angle it is sixty degree. Okay, so now resolve this one it is. So forty, it is. Forty cos forty cos sixty forty cos sixty on y axis it will be forty sine sixty forty sine sixty okay so fifty newton it is acted on y axis okay so now resolve this one sixty newton sixty newton sixty newton okay. so it is angle it is with with respect to y axis it is thirty okay so this angle it is thirty degree. This angle it is thirty degree. Okay, angle it is with respect to thirty. Okay, this one. Okay, thirty degree. So on y axis it will be take sixty cos thirty. Sixty cos thirty on y x axis. X axis it will be take sixty sine thirty. Sixty sine thirty. Sixty sine thirty. Okay. So this one it is. We resolve all the forces now. Now, sum of all the sum of all horizontal forces, horizontal forces. Sum of all the horizontal forces. Okay, that is summation f x is equal to summation of f x is equal to summation of f x is equal to summation of f x is equal to. So this assumption, if the force it is going. Right side, it will be take positive for horizontal 
axis is the force it is going left side it will be take negative the force it is going left side it will be take minus okay so summation fx is equal to so first of all this 20 newton it is going right side so plus 20 then is 30 cos 30 it will be going also right side plus 30 cos cos 30 30 cos 30 then plus 40 40 cos 60 40 cos 60 so this 40 cos 60 it is going also right side okay then this one it is on y axis 50 newton it is only acted on y axis okay then this 60 60 sign 60 it is going left side so it will be minus you will take minus so minus minus 60 sign 30 you know sign 30 okay so now summation fx is equal to calculate summation of algebraic sum of all the vertical forces is equal to summation of fx is equal to you can write down 20 plus 30 cos 30 then plus 40 cos 60 then minus 60 sine 30. The summation fx is equal to 35.980 35.980 newton okay so this one it is summation fx now sum of all the vertical forces sum of all vertical forces vertical forces sum of all the vertical forces so for that assumption and the force it is upward it will be take positive the direction of force it is upward so this one it will be take positive if the force direction it is in downward direction it will be take negative the direction of force it is in downward it will be take negative negative okay so first of all so this 20 newton only it is acted on horizontal axis means only horizontal axis so 30 sine 30 it is going upward direction so it will be positive so summation f y is equal to right on summation of f y is equal to summation of fy is equal to so first of all this 30 sine 30 it is upward plus that's why 30 sine 30 then 40 sine 60 it will be also going upward direction so plus 40 sine 60 40 sine 60 then that 60 cos 60 it is also going upward direction plus 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 60 cos 30 60 cos 30 so this one it is also going upward direction okay so calculate summation f y is equal to right on some algebraic sum of all the vertical forces all these forces are going in upward direction one more one more remaining sorry this one 50 newton 50 newton okay so 50 it is going upward so plus 50 newton plus 50 newton 50 newton okay so summation f y is equal to summation algebraic sum of all the vertical forces summation of f y is equal to so calculate this one 30 sine 30 plus 40 sine 60 40 sine 60 then plus 60 cos 30 then plus 50 so it will be 151.602 151.602 newton newton okay 151.60 newton now calculate resultant of forces magnitude of magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant so calculate r is equal to r is equal to root of root of root of root of summation fx square summation of summation of fx square summation of fx square 
summation of f x square plus plus summation of f y square 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 is equal to is equal to root of root of root of summation of x square it is 35.980 35.980 square 980 square then plus plus summation of y is 151.151.602 So resultant of force which will be get from this resultant of force. Okay. I will write down here. So R is equal to R is equal to so 35.980 square plus 151.602 square root of answer. So it will be 155.8 155. 813 813 newton 813 so this one it is resultant of force resultant of force so now direction of the resultant force again it will be calculated direction of resultant force direction of resultant force Direction of resultant force. Direction of resultant force. That is tan theta is equal to formula is tan theta is equal to summation of summation of summation of F Y summation of F Y divided by summation of F X divided by summation of F X. Summation of f x. Summation of f x. Summation of f x. Is equal to summation of f y. It is how much? Summation of f y. It is one fifty one point six zero two six zero two divided by summation of f x. It is thirty five point nine eight zero. Thirty five point nine eight zero. Thirty five point Nine eight zero. So from this, calculate direction. That is theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse tan inverse tan inverse in bracket. So one fifty one point six zero two divided by thirty five point nine eight zero. Four point two one three, four point two one three. Okay. Theta is equal to now. This ten inverse answer is equal to seventy six point six four eight. Seventy six point six six four eight six eight four eight. Okay. So this one it is direction of result. Direction of result. Direction of result. Direction of result. Just show this one. It is. Direction of result. This one it is direction of result. Just show it is thing. So summation f x and summation f y it is both are the positive. It will become in first quarter. Okay. In first quarter, just show the x-axis and this y-axis. Okay. So for positive, so first quadrant it will be this one. So this one it is positive and positive. So it will become in first quadrant. Okay. So resultant it is 
155.813 newton and angle it is angle it is 70 6.648 angle okay. 76.648 okay. so this one it is your final solution the resultant it is 155.813 and the direction it is 76.648 it is located in first quadrant okay